Yes, guys, welcome back to another video we're going to do in here on the channel today. As you can see, we are working with Bristol City. It's the Bristol City save. So it's the Arsenal save. Um, but it's the first official video that I'll just be titling Bristol City. Um, I explained it all in the last video. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch yesterday's video. It all will become clear. But today is the day that Bristol City have two games away against Swansea and then home against Preston to finish off the season. I took the job here and my first game was on the, yesterday's video was a 2-2 a draw with Cardiff, a good start. I was happy with the performance. We then drew with Hull, a game which we probably should have won. Uh, but it, you know, it, it wasn't the end of the world, you know. And then two wins on the bounce at Middlesbrough, 3-1 at the Riverside Stadium, and then 1-0 against Stoke at home means that we are 10th in the league. I took the job when we was 11th. Um, now we're 10th. Uh, but yeah, it's good because it's been a good run to start off the um, the campaign. Only six. I come in with six games left of the season. Um, and hopefully we can get a couple more wins. A few more wins in this sort of season's play. And then we can... Um, and then we can sort of go on and and pick up a promotion next season. Just quickly, the team we're playing today is Daniel Bentley in goal. We've got Pedro Pereira at right back. Thomas Callas and Jack Simpson in the centre-backs. We've got Jefferson at left back. We've got Han Noah Masengo in the defensive midfield position. We have Josh Brownhill and Adam Nagy in our sort of central midfield positions. Vyman on the right, O'Dowd on the left, and then Benekophobia up front. Um, and that's going to be the the team that hopefully is going to topple Swansea at the Liberty Stadium. Um, we'll get straight into the game now. And so far, it's been pretty evenly sort of balanced. Both teams going at it and, you know, no real sort of proper chances, no highlights yet. But hopefully we can, oh, as I'm saying that, I've looked up and, um, and here's the first highlight. Brownhill to Nagy. He has a shot from distance, sat off the bar. Is that a save? Not too sure. Comes out to Vyman anyway. He plays it back in and Woodman catches the ball and does well in goal. As you can see, our shots, we've had eight shots to their one. We've got more possession than them, so I would have thought that we should sort of be taking the lead in a minute. A phobie on the ball. He's running through. And it's a good save from Woodman. Probably should have done better. Um, as I said, I think we probably should be taking the lead in a minute. We're dominating, and I want a goal for this domination. The corner gets whipped in. It's headed, but it's gone wide. It wasn't a very good header. Um, sort of last few moments of the first half. Hopefully we can get a goal, because obviously the domination that we've had in this first half goes for nothing now. It shows, you know, just because... You know, we've dominated and we haven't got anything to show for it in the first half. Now here comes Swansea in the second half. Um, looking like they're going to try and get back into the game a bit more now. What are they going to do? They're just passing it around the typical Swansea way. Um, and yeah, they they very almost scored. It's just put wide of the post on the volley. Uh, I would have been quite annoyed had we have conceded there simply because we would, we've been doing so well and I want to I want to get the win, get the three points and go into the next game. Here comes Swansea again on the attack. What are they going to do? Selena plays it forward to Borgia and he's put that wide. That wasn't the best of attempts. Um, that weren't the best of attempts for for him there. So, so yeah, hopefully in a minute we're going to make a sub and that will change the game a little bit and we can... We'll bring D Diedu on for a phobie now. Diedu coming on. He's scored a few goals recently and he's been doing very well for us. Jefferson now on the ball, plays it to Masongo. 
whips it in, Vardman gets his head to it, but there's no one in the middle and it's cleared easily, obviously. Callas now on the ball, though, our centre-back. What's he going to do? He's running down the line with it, plays it into Weidman, uh, Weidman, but it's cleared, or it's intercepted and cleared, but not very far because we've got the ball back. And it's a shot from distance from Nagy and it just goes wide. And here we go again. Masongo on the ball, plays it to Brownhill, up through to Nagy, over the top to Odalda. What's he going to do? He whips it in, it's cleared. Vyman wins the header though, it falls to Nagy, to Pereira. Is he going to whip it in? No, he's going to pass it to Brownhill. Um, and then he's going to pass it back to Masongo, who plays it to Nagy. We're passing the ball around well here. Need to show some attacking intent though. It's played forward to Dowda. Oh, Dowda, it's come to Vyman, has the shot and it double shot, it's triple shot, it's saved. And who have they got in goal? Have they got Manuel Neuer or someone like that in goal? Jesus Christ. What brilliant goalkeeping from Freddie Woodman, their goalkeeper. Fair play. Um, but we've just put one in the back of the net. It's Josh Brownhill with a goal. And I was about, I was just sort of going on waxing lyrical about how good their goalkeeper just did there. Um, and we've put one in the back of the net. It's crossed in and from the free kick of Brownhill with the header. Scores his seventh goal of the season. It's another assist for Jefferson. Uh, and obviously very, very, very happy with that. We're going to bring Vyman off now for the last few moments of the game and bring on Opie Edwards, the youngster from the Youth Academy, getting a chance in the first team. Um, and it looks like that's going to be full time. And it is. And there we go. A 1-0 victory for the boys. Um, Bristol City doing very well for themselves now. A big win against Swansea. because It's a bit of a derby. Um, I know they're Wales and it's like sort of Wales versus West Country. Sort of the, the you know, west of England, southwest. So, um, so yeah, that was a kind of a derby. Um, but maybe not, I don't know. But happy to win it, of course. Um, and I'll be back in just a second with the next game of the video. Yes, guys, as I said, we'll be back with the last game of the season against Preston at Ashton Gate. Hopefully we can pick up the victory um, and, and, yeah, continue on with our sort of progress. Still haven't lost a game yet as Bristol City manager, unbeaten. So hopefully we can continue that. The team is the same as last is the last game. We've got Bentley in goal, Pereira, Callas, Simpson and Jefferson at the back. Masengo, Brownhill and Nagy in central midfield. We've got Vyman on the right, Odalda on the left and Afobi up front. Literally exactly the same team um, that we can hopefully defeat Preston with. Preston North End, obviously they're a good team. But hopefully, like I said, six points from six would be very, very, very exciting for me, obviously. To, what a way to end the season. Pereira's on the ball, whips it in. It's cleared only to Jefferson, though. What's he going to do? He whips it in. It's cleared again. And cleared even further. Callas now on the ball, plays it forward to Vyman. What's he going to do? Hopefully he can create something. He whips it in and it's cleared. But we've won the ball back straight away. It's... It's what I want us to be doing, winning the ball back as fast as possible when we lose it. Nagy with a shot, and what a goal from Adam Nagy. What an absolute screamer. And there we go. Let's have a look at this one again. Vitamin played it to Nagy, played it to Odalda, back to Nagy, back to Odalda, back to Nagy again. And then first time, boom, top corner. Have some of that, pick that one out of the net. There we go. Very happy with that. Um, and we've gone up to eighth position in the league. Not that it matters. Um, but obviously, we want um, as high a league finish as possible. So I suppose, yes, it does matter. Jefferson to a phobie. It's being passed around left, right and centre. Um, and a phobie's got the sh a volley away. And there's the goal, Benneke phobie. I was about to say got the shot away, but it's more of a volley. That's his ninth league goal, this, his ninth goal of the season, sorry. Assist by Pedro Pereira. It was just passing back and forth, back and forth until Jefferson played it out wide to Pereira, played it to Vyman, played it straight back to him. He, he then whipped it in and a phobie on the volley first time, and there's the goal. Um, and that's 2-0. A delightful goal 
from Benic Pahobi. And there we go. 2 0 now. So feeling very comfortable, although this one is not over yet. Um, Jefferson with the ball now, but he's given it away, but we've won it back straight away. Nagy, but we've lost it again. Nagy went for the shot and it was blocked. And now here come Preston, and that's a good save from Bentley. Very, very good save from da uh, Daniel Bentley. Whipped in from Preston, it's cleared by us. It's then going to be cleared, e well, I'd say it's going to be cleared even further, but the highlight ended. Um, so we don't know what happened there. But it looks like we're going in at half time at 2 0 up. And yes, it is 2 0 at half time. And we could tell the lads um, to not get complacent, basically, because we get complacent, they come back into the game. It's as simple as that. Jefferson on the ball now, plays it over the top to a phobia. Phobia's through on goal and he has the shot. And was that a save? Yes, it was a save. It's gone out for a corner. It's going to be whipped in from Jefferson. He whips it into the front post, but it's cleared. But Vyman wins it. Pass it to Jefferson, to Callas, back to Vyman, a little triangle. It's back and forth, back and forth. And O'Dowder eventually gets the header and it's an easy save for their goalkeeper to make. We're dominating the statistics, as you can see, perhaps not possession so much, but um, but everything else we're sort of dominating. And um, and yeah, this is a this is a good performance, a very good performance from us. We'll bring Diego on for a phobie and push him back to the pressing forward that he likes to do. And we're actually going to bring off Masengo for Smith. Corey Smith's going to come on for Masengo. And there we go. Going into the last 10 minutes of the game now. Hopefully we can hold on to this 2-0 lead. I'd be very surprised if we don't. Um, and that is full time, surely. Yes, there it is. 2-0 for Bristol City. And Lovely victory and what a way to end the season. Um, very happy with how we've played. And yeah, very, very excited for next season now. If that means we finish this season in ninth position, uh, only four points off the um, the playoff spots. But um, yeah, very happy. The six games, what was it? Two draws and... Uh, just about to look now. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, apologies about that. My um, recording software decided to malfunction slightly there, but we've got it back on track now. And um, as I was saying, since I took taken charge, two draws and four wins, and what a way to end the season. Uh, the, hopefully, um, obviously, we've got a lot of things going on at the moment, but hopefully, tomorrow's video will be the first game of. The new season for Bristol City. Um, I look forward to that. We'll do the transfers and, and what we did over the summer and then we'll do the match. But yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and uh, have a good rest of your day. And I'll be back with another video very soon. Cheers.